really important is that 80% of the work that you can do can be done by somebody else 100% of the time. And in fact, that's the motto that I really drill into people that work with us in our best practice program, is that by the end of your first year in working with us, you really should be aspiring to achieve 80% of all of your work in your office being done by someone else other than you 100% of the time. It's not always easy when you're getting started, but if you follow the right principles, you can achieve that. Step one, I do it. Step one, I do it and you're with me. You're my employee, so I do it and you're with me. Step three, you do it and I'm with you. Step four is you just do it. You're ready now, you can now just do it. But here's the big mistake. There's one more step, step five. You now do it and you take somebody with you. The fish stinks from the head down, as Ed would say. So understand that. If you're not thinking about the people that you deal with and you're not demonstrating an element of interactivity and care and general concern for their well-being, then maybe you're acting like a, you're, you, know, you have a sense of entitlement. If, you're in t if your position title is the real reason that people should work for you, you're, you know, you're not going to get very far. You've got to have some white space in your head every single day, preferably at the start of the day or late at night or at the end of the afternoon in your office. You've got to have some quiet time where without the disruption of your employees or email or internet or phone uh, clients, where you can actually focus on what your primary objectives are for the following day. Now, if you do it early in the morning, that's a really good time. Uh, getting in 20 minutes, 30 minutes early before your team get to the office, uh, having some quiet time, maybe a coffee shop right near your office before you get started. How do you avoid being pushed down in price? You've got to remember what you believe in. You know, one of my mentors, Les Brown, once said to me, if you're passionate and you believe in what you do, you'll do it so well that people will pay you for what you offer. So when you lose that passion, when you lose the connection with your core reason for being in business, that's when you start to get into price wars. When you know your value proposition and you're proud of it, um, you will use a different language with your customer.